number three, emotions, the heart of a singer. Have any of you seen that movie Inside Out where you go inside the 11 year old girl's brain and, and there's joy and anger and sadness and, and they, they have this dialogue inside of her head? Well, that's based on actual physiological scientific understanding of how we work as humans. We have four core emotions. It's not five like in the movie, it's four. We have four core emotions that are at the basis of every single human's understanding. As an artist, as a choral director, as a musician, think of them as the primary colors with which you paint. The, 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 and, and, and every vocal tapestry that you paint is an interweaving of not only notes, not only sonorities and harmonies, not only rhythms, but emotions with joy and anger and sadness and fear weaving together to create higher order emotions, more complex emotions. And this being the case, you need to know, and this being the case, your singers need to know how to access each of these emotions. This is not something new. This has been something that's been done for thousands of years by actors. This is something that performers often instinctually know how to do on their own, but a solo performer has the freedom and the flexibility to go where that person's emotions want at any given moment. You can't have 50 people on stage all experiencing something in wildly different ways because your facial expressions and your music, the, the brightness or darkness of your vowels, the shaping of your phrases would start to unravel. You want your singers to experience something together. In, in, in the same way they fly in formation like the Blues Angels to create beautiful harmonies, they should also experience and express together these core emotions and more complex emotions together in unison and in harmony. And this is not something that's easy to do, but that's why I wrote this book, The Heart of Vocal Harmony, to give you as a director, as a musician, as a singer, an opportunity to think about and understand the techniques that have been drawn from both the history of singing and acting and science to give your singers access to those feelings so that then they're able to express as well as sing in harmony. Uh, how do I wrap this one up? Um, it isn't easy but it can be done. And it isn't something that you wanna just hope will serendipitously happen. You know you have those moments in rehearsal on a Tuesday night when everybody's gathered around the piano and you just create this magic. Why doesn't that happen on stage on Saturday? Well, now it can. And now it should. Um, to do that requires not just tripping upon the emotion, not just happening upon an experience together, but finding out how to do that, how to create these emotional experiences time and again, the same way a great actor does on stage. And you can do it.